Jose Acuña Bautista, popularly known as Ramón Revilla Sr., born Jose Bautista y Acuña on March 8, 1927, is a Filipino actor and former Senator of the Republic of the Philippines. He is known as the Hari ng Agimit, literally, King of Amulets, in Philippine movies. Personal life he is the youngest child of the ten children of businessmen Ildefonso Bautista and Andrea Acuña. The first family of Ramon Revilla Sr. is with the mother of Evelyn Bautista Jaworski. Ramon Revilla's wife is a Susana mortal they produced seven children, namely, Marlon, Ruina Bautista Mendiola, Jose Marie, Bong Revilla, Rebecca Bautista Ocampo, Princess Revilla, Edwin, Strike Revilla, Andrea Bautista Inares, and Diane. And with Genelin Magsaysay, they produced nine offsprings, namely, Ram Revilla, Ma. Ramona Bellin, Mara, Ragin Ann, Regalin Gale, Ram Joshua, Ramon Joseph, R.J., Rafael Julius, Ruben Jesse B. Revilla, Bautista are known as Ruben B. Revilla, and Ramlin Gabriel. Ram Revilla murder on October 17, 2013, Ramon Revilla Sr., father of the deceased Ram Revilla broke his silence and officially aired his emotions about the Ram Revilla murder case and thus gave his official statement. Statement of Senator Ramon Revilla Sr. on the birthday of his son, Ramon Joseph, who has been under detention for two years now. Para akong nabagsakan ng mundo ng malaman ko na ang aking anak na si Ramon Joseph I hindi nabigyan ng payansa ng hukuman, I felt like the world fell on me when I was informed that my son Ramon Joseph was not allowed by the court to post bail. Ako po ay naninawaling hindi magagawa ng anak ko ang ganayang bagay na karamaldamal, I do believe that my son cannot do anything like that. Ang MGA Anak Ko I Lumaki Sa Salita Ng Panganun. Isa Sayang Mabate Na Anak. My children grew up in the Word of God. He is a nice son. Hinuli Sha Ng Wilang Warrant of Arrest at Halos Dalawangtaon Na Sayang Nagdurusa Sa Kulungan. Inosentepo ang aking anak, he was arrested without a warrant of arrest and for almost two years he has been suffering in jail. My son is innocent. Tulungan-po ninyo kami sa panalangin para sa katarungan ng aking MGA anak na sina Ramjan, Ramona, at Ramon Joseph, help us in prayers for justice for my children Ramjan, Ramona, and Ramon Joseph. Former Senator Ramon Revilla Sr. Rancho Bacor, Cavite, October 17, 2013. Revilla Statue On his 90th birthday last March 8, 2017 the statue of Ramon Revilla Sr. was unveiled to the public. The 10-meter bronze statue was made by Filipino sculptor and national artist Eduardo Castrillo. It was unveiled at Revilla's residence in Bacor, Cavite. Also during this event, Revilla's children gave him another surprise by officially opening the Memo Revilla, a museum showcasing his old photographs and film memorabilia such as the Anting Anting amulet, and Panday sword, the Hari ng Agimit. S. Star-studded birthday celebration was attended by the biggest names in Philippine show business and politics alike. Former Presidents Joseph Ejercito Estrada and Gloria Macapagal Arroyo were among the big personalities who came to the event. Education Ramon Revilla Sr. graduated in Far Eastern University wherein he finished his bachelor's degree in commerce. Film career in his initial entry to the film industry, the young Ramon Revilla was cast only in bit roles which was not enough for him so he left the movies to become head of the Secret Service Unit of the Bureau of Customs in 1965. He returned to the film industry in 1972 with the movie Nardong Pudik, Kilabad ng Cavite, which started his fame. He also returned on his own terms, creating his own film production, Imus Productions, for him to star in. 
Together with partner Asusena, they ran the film outfit with Rivia writing and directing his films. His characters in the films, Pepeng Agimit and Nardong Kutik, gave him the image of being an invincible superhuman who had in his keeping a special anting anting, amulet of superhuman powers. This image of his is somewhat alive until now because as just recently ABS CBN adapted his four major films into television series entitled Agimit, Ang Mga Alamat ni Ramon Rivia. Accolades In 1973, Rivia won a famous Best Actor Award for Hulahin si Tiagong Akit, together with his son Marlon Bautista for a famous Best Child Actor Award of the same movie. Imus Productions was also recognized as Outstanding Film Production in 1975. The next year, Rivia snagged the Outstanding Producer of the Year Award. In 1979, he was Most Outstanding Actor and Box Office King. In 2011, in the 33rd Catholic Mass Media Awards Night CMMA, Ramon Rivia Sr. was given the Lifetime Achievement Award. Politics in 1992, Rivia became a senator, holding office until the end of his two terms in 2004. Despite having a number of detractors, Senator Ramon Rivia Sr. was able to mark his stay in the Senate as the author of some important bills. But the one he spearheaded that raised his popularity was the bill casually called the Rivia Bill. An amendment to the Family Code Law of the Philippines, enacted into the law on February 2004, states, The illegitimate children may use the surname of their father if their affiliation has been expressly recognized by the father through the record of birth appearing in the civil register, or when an admission in a public document or private handwritten instrument is made by the father. The child should not suffer the stigma of his illegitimacy. The Rivia Sr. was once quoted as saying. Filmography References <references>